Hey guys, so today we're gonna go from this to this. So as you know, in this film right now, I look very, um, how you say, very grungy, very cruddy. Um, yeah, I've been going through some things lately. Basically, my aunt passed away. And uh, she passed away maybe a week or two ago. And um, <laughs> me and my mom haven't been... Well, we've been, I mean, ourselves, like, yeah, we're fine, but, like, just dealing with it is just, like, it's just not something very nice. I mean, granted, it was cancer, and it's kind of like cancer is, like, a long time coming. She fought it for eight years, but anyway, um, like, we had to deal with, you know, <sighs> nobody wants to have to do a funeral but we had to do all that and we made sure it was very nice and everything but um anyways all that kind of takes a toll on you emotionally because you know that it's quick it's like a really quick thing like i i feel like it went by so fast it just it's crazy everything went by so fast and i since then i can't stop thinking about my aunt because she was such a beautiful person for me and Anyways, <laughs> I have to, uh, come on, <laughs> see, so, like, it's like, I can never stop thinking about her, okay, so, so I haven't really felt like myself, um, and I, I let myself kind of go, like, I have a lot of skin issues going on with my nose, see right here, it's peels, and I have, like, this mark here now that's, it's a scab. It's like an actual scab from the dryness. My eyebrows, I let everything go. Like, the stress of everything. And it just, like... It just makes you not want to do anything for yourself. Like, you're just thinking and thinking. And it's like, it makes you think, like, nothing matters. Like, none of this crap matters. So, anyways. um, I've been just trying to pick up the pieces and just continue you know moving on knowing like she would have wanted me to do this or that it was, just, it was just so hard seeing a person not themselves anymore like they're there they're still alive but they're not there so we had to i'm not it's so hard we had to let her go you know <laughs> so anyways um I don't want to make this all sad, like, I really don't want to, but I just wanted to, like, show you, like, what happens when you let yourself go, like, I got real grungy, and, like, I normally am kind of grungy, but I never let it, let it get this bad, but anyways, um, so this is gonna be makeup for, like, grungy, grungy, when you're grungy and you haven't done, you know, your eyebrows and things like that. So, makeup for the grungy. Um, I've already talked about this BB cream, but honestly, BB cream is, like, the way to go. Like, even my lips are dry. They're, like, peeling and everything. It gives you coverage without being makeup. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have to be perfect with it. It's, like, when people see you, it's, like, they know you're cov you are got coverage, but they know you're not, like, trying to be perfect. Like... Is basically it gives you like an off day type of thing like you know what I'm saying but anyways underneath this since my skin is so broken and things like that I had to put this under it and this is sorry this is the CeraVe um, moisturizer that my friend Leslie Sky or um, Chasing Moonlight she sent me this in uh, a package Cause I had purchased one of her boxes and she sent me some friend mail inside so I was just like super thankful because I don't know I just needed something strong like not just like any face moisturizer but I needed something like you know recommended like for dry skin so I put it underneath this um so like whatever is in this is not gonna like affect the broken skin you know it's like a barrier an extra barrier extra SPF because when your skin is damaged 
you really need like extra protection and things like that so so i'm just putting this on all over my face and i have i have a lot of dry crackled skin around my nose area for what reason i have no idea because it's not even it's not even cold outside it's not like you know what i mean those type of dry skin issues are not even applicable right now because it's still hot outside like i don't understand but it's just like the eczema or psoriasis I, I have health insurance, but it's going to run out because I'm already uh, I'm already too old to be under my mom's insurance. So, like, I've also been stressed out because I need to hurry up and uh, graduate so I could get a better job, like, so I can get health insurance. Because, like, now I have to watch out for cancer because I'm not sure if it's genetic or not. Like, my grandma passed away from it. And uh, it's just something I have to watch out for. <laughs> So I just, I want to get my health insurance so I could go check myself periodically. Alright, so anyways, um, so basically I, I, didn't, I hardly ever use a concealer with this. It's just like, I might have put a little too much, but that's because it's the SPF and then the camera. Like, the SPF makes it look like it's super um, light or whatever. Okay, so anyways, um, so after I do that, I'm going to go ahead and get a wipey real quick because I don't like my hands feeling all, like, with the cream. So one moment. So now I'm just going to put on my Revlon Colorstay uh, powder. And this powder is really awesome. Like, I would not mind purchasing a few more of these. Like, maybe, hopefully they have a bulk, like a bulk sale of these or something. Like, I'm already running out. I love this because when you put it on, it looks very natural and the color stays on. And it's very light. Like, it feels lightweight. It's not heavy at all. So that's why I love this. But, and I always put it with the BB cream. I haven't tried it with their Color State foundation, but um, I just love this. It's I recommend it totally. I recommend it, and I I forgot how much it was, but whatever price it is, you know, it's drugstore, so it's not gonna be super expensive, but it's worth the price. I really love it. So I just finished putting on my primer over my lids and I'm not going to put on any of cream eyeshadow because um, this is sufficient enough for what I'm going to do. So I have these two or these three brushes, the all over eyeshadow brush, the bunny brush and this brush is the C contour brush, something like that. I'm just using my traditional palette, LA Colors, LA Colors for Miss Cat Without Magic. And here's the palette. Today I'm going to use um, this one for all over. This is, I'm sorry, this is for the lid. This one for the lid. And this one for the crease. And this one up here for the under the eyebrow. Alright, so let's get started with LA Colors for Cat Without Magic. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to get that brown one right here. Like, okay, usually I never use brown. This one has shimmer. And it's got, it's like a, almost like a muddy brown. But, like, it's pretty. And I was kind of scared of using it, but it's actually not bad. So let me go ahead and get closer real quick. And I zoomed in, sort of. Okay, so it's putting all over the lid. I usually never get this, but because like when I'm when I'm doing the makeup like this, like looking into the webcam far away and stuff, like that's when I get fallout because I I don't have as much control of the brush as if I'm just like looking closely in the mirror. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, time to do the other eye. And I know it looks like I'm sick, but I'm gonna you're gonna see like the transformation. Like the brown is actually really pretty. Like I was freaked out about it too, but it's actually really pretty. Okay, time for the other colors. Okay, so I'm going to grab another color. Keep in mind, this is like my makeup for my morning, my time of morning, you know. So it's not going to be super... Super like, I'm like, ah, I'm purple and I'm so perky. Like, no. This is my morning, makeup and morning. So I took the darker color, 
darkest color in the palette. And I'm starting to put it in the crease. And that's the one that really transforms this brown. Okay, I had to like go outside and pick up the rent and whatever. I'm just like, oh my god, I hate it when people interrupt me when I'm doing my makeup. Like, this video is already as long as it is. And, okay, I'm taking this color here for on top of the lid. And he saw me and he was looking at me like, are, are you okay? Type of thing. And he's like, like, oh my gosh, I didn't mean to freak him out, but like, you are interrupting me in the middle of my beautification process. What do you expect? Like, you know what I'm saying? So, he was like... Because he's like, he's kind of a young dude. So, he's kind of funny. Like, anyways. Okay, so I'm putting this on the lid. And I'm putting it on both sides. Because I have a lot on the brush. So, I can share the wealth on both sides. But, yeah, he was looking at my eyes like, what the hell? Like... Did this chick just have a hangover or something? <laughs> Poor guy. No, I didn't. Although I wish I did. <laughs> I need something. Okay. Oh, let me just fix that corner real quick. Because it kind of like, it kind of like got into my crease. And there we go. Okay, so now I'm going to do the upper part. Oh, wait, how come the one looks higher than the other? Or is that just the way my camera is positioned? I think that's just the way my camera is positioned because it's really crooked right now. Because, like, there we go. See, it looks more even now. It's. I think it's the way I'm sitting. Okay, moving on. Okay, so we're getting this light brown. You can't even see it anymore. It's like I use a lot of it because I, I use it for my highlight up here. So I'm putting it up here to cover, like, the hairs that need to be plugged and things like that. Okay, so the last two things you're going to need that's going to really pull your grungy uh, morning look all together is eyeliner. So I have my two eyeliners here, the ones I always use. It doesn't really matter which ones you use, but um, yeah. More specifically, I'm using a coal liner underneath my eye because it's smoother. I'm doing this with just my laptop because... I'm too lazy to get up and go get a mirror, so you should give me a thumbs up for risking poking my eyeball. What I like about the grunge look is like the more eyeliner the better, or the messier the eyeliner is the better. So, anyways, let me go ahead and do my top lid. Which is more challenging. Let me see if I can flex this. Oh, okay. This is a new laptop, by the way. Well, not mine, but my boyfriend's. And he gave it to me. Oh, well, this is a challenge. I have to close. I have to close my left eye. So I can concentrate on looking at one thing. Not bad. Not bad for not using a mirror. So that's how my eyeliner looks. So, um, yeah. Um, when using this, you yeah, just have to make sure, like, because over time, because I use this a lot, over time, uh, the little brush gets messed up, and it's not as precise as it was once you first opened it. But, um, 
Ugh, you're the stupid. I don't have a table. Sorry, this is stupid laptop. Um, so it's not gonna be as precise as as time goes on. I can feel it getting a little empty already, but um, that's perfect for looking grungy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So um, so this is fuchsia pink. Like it's like the elf's blush. That's super freaking bright. Now I'm just gonna get a teeny bit of it, and you don't even have to use cream eye cream uh blush anymore because this is super pigmented. And it's quick and easy. You don't have to put on anything to keep the blush from staying on. So I just put a little bit on both sides just to like, just so I still have some color, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not completely, so that's all I'm going to put because you don't need that much. Just a very light application to make it look like, you know, like I was running or something. So, uh, yeah, that was Fuchsia Fusion, Fuchsia Fusion. And I'm just using my blush brush. Okay, and now I'm just going to put on this Precious Moments. I'm sorry, it's Unforgettable Moments uh, lip gloss. And this is a Payless brand. <laughs> Excuse me. It's very pink. It's very pink, yet when you put it on, it goes on sheer. I'll show you. I'll sheer show you. So I just went on a little bit because a little bit goes a long way. And, um, like, it's very moisturizing. That's why I like it because... I have a cut like on my lip and it's super moisturizing and you know like when you don't feel like taking a look at your makeup every 10 seconds um this is good because it stays on it's super sticky and you don't have to replace it like you do with like uh lipstick because when you're grungy you don't really care you know what i'm saying you just like put it on and take off so that's how it looks i really like it it's uh looks natural so that's basically like my quick quickie grunge look quickie grunge because the eyebrows are not done like look at how thick those things get damn <laughs> and I have to do some errands I have to go run errands but I don't want to come out looking like super freaking like zombie like seriously I'm already getting like a zombie like you know how they have like Okay, like, okay, it sounds gross, but in my, um, area, we have something called the Rotting Flesh Factory. Like, that's me right there. Like, my flesh is breaking off because of my psoriasis eczema, so I don't even need a costume. <laughs> Just kidding. But anyways, yeah. Hope y'all enjoyed this. And, um, hmm. Super like, I'm like